Salutations, YouTube. It's your boy, back with another one. Rookie Stacker. It's been such an eventful week. We're going to get into all the action-packed details of the you-know-what a little bit later. First, I want to give you guys a quick update on the habit that I'm going to start making on the show of showing you guys what I'm making each week for my side hustle. And that's what I have written down over here. Um, because I'm in the middle of basketball season, or actually I should say more toward the end, there are some weeks where I'm not able to train as much as I want to. This was one of those weeks. Because we have two games this week on Wednesday and Friday, I could only train Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Uh, this says the week of 124 through 128, but today is Thursday, the 27th, and it was the last day I could train. On Monday, I made $80. Uh, on Tuesday, I made $110. On Thursday, I made $170. My rollover from last week, because remember, last week I made over $500, which I kind of told you guys was an outlier. This is what a typical week looks like for me, minus this $80. But even that is still a great week. I can't complain. Uh, overall, what I made this week, $440, if we count that $80 rollover. Otherwise, it would have been a total of $360, which is a typical week for me if I can, um, you know, I would say my average week. But thankfully, because of an outlier like last week, I was able to roll $80 in and bring up my budget for the week. And because tomorrow's going to be a super busy day for me, not only will I be working uh, in the morning, making sure I get everything right for our big announcement this weekend, but we also have a basketball game, which takes up pretty much my entire day from the afternoon to the evening. I'll get to the gym around 1.30 p.m. I won't leave until around 9.30, 10 p.m. So I went ahead and uh, hit up my private seller today after I finished my training. Uh, with $440 to spend, I asked him what I could do. Definitely wanted another 10 ounce, uh, definitely wanted another 10 ounce bar because after holding the first one, it was really hard not to want another one. And to give you guys another up a quick update, for those of you who didn't know, this was the 10 ounce bar that I got last week. And I got it for, I think, a great price because that's what everybody's telling me. I got it for $270. Remember, keep in mind, this was before Spot had taken the dip that it's taken in the last couple of days. Uh, and silver is the only thing that took a hit. Gold kind of dipped down as well. So I asked, well, can you give me a good deal on a 10-ounce silver bar? He said the best he could do was 260 with the drop in Spot. He has to make money too, so I don't. I try not to haggle with him too, too much. He told me 260. So then I had the debate with myself on whether I should just go ahead and take another 10 ounce bar, and then take the remainder, and roll it over into the next week. The remaining money would have been around 180 dollars. I decided not. Here is the new 10 ounce bar that I purchased. It was in plastic when I bought it. I just love to touch it, so I took it out. This is from Republic Metals Corporation. Uh, I believe they're in Florida. And it is just the same feeling I have all over again from my first purchase of a 10 ounce bar. So now I have two 10 ounce bars and I have so many people in the community to thank for helping me diversify my stack. Uh, probably at the top of that list being Milk Toast. Um, milk Money has really helped me out a whole bunch in terms of advice, and he was absolutely right. Once I purchased these 10-ounce bars and I held them in my hands, it's going to be really hard to go back to anything else. Um, but again, at 440 after I purchased this, I had the debate with myself on whether I should roll over the rest. Because I do plan on getting something big here pretty soon but i have projects that i've been working on for a while that are finally going to cash in for me and i think i can pull off that purchase with those projects 
So I asked him the best he could do for me on a tenth ounce of gold, another tenth ounce. He told me the best he could do was two hundred dollars. The issue is two sixty plus another two hundred would be four sixty. And you guys know I'm trying to really stick to only spending the money that I make from my side hustle. But for that price, $460, 10 ounce silver bar and a 10th ounce of gold, I felt it was too good to pass up, especially because the uh, spot prices of gold and silver dip down. And obviously we don't know if they're gonna rise tomorrow or dip again tomorrow. So I just went ahead and got it. I spent an extra $20. I think that $20 will come back to me, so I'm not too worried about it. If I sound a little different, it's because it's really late on this Thursday night. It's probably even Friday by now, and uh, I'm trying to keep my voice down. My wife and my daughter are asleep, and I'm super exhausted. Hope you guys can understand that. Um, so, this week, I got another 10 ounces of silver in the form of a bar, and I got another 10 ounce of gold. That's my update for today. Now to get to the action pack stuff. It's been amazing doing this giveaway. I'm not naive to the fact that I've received a bunch of subs because I'm doing a giveaway that involves a 10th ounce of gold. And I'm also not naive to the fact that I probably would, wouldn't even be close to this amount of subs if I wasn't doing it. I understand that the gold got you here. I hope that my content is enough to get you to stay. I'm not an advice guy. I haven't been in this long enough to give anybody advice, and I'm not knowledgeable enough to even give myself advice. My channel, the videos I create, are more so about my journey and as I'm learning along the way. And for those who are a little more inexperienced than I am, if I can help them out, maybe just seeing my journey will. For those who are much more experienced, which many of you are, I just reach out for your help. And since I've done that, the community has been amazing. And the majority of you who have been stacking and doing this for years and years and years, you've done nothing but spread your knowledge. I can't say enough how grateful I am to be a part of this community. And that's why I'm doing this 10th ounce of gold giveaway. Would it be nice to one day have a channel that is monetized uh, and produces revenue that could go right back into my stack? Absolutely. But I tried to go into this without any expectation, not really knowing if anybody would even enjoy hearing me talk or my perspective or listening to what somebody who comes from where I've come from, what they've been through. What I've learned is we all have a story. We all have had to endure our hardships. But as long as we are stacking and preserving wealth, None of that matters. And that's what I love about this community. We've never seen each other's faces for the most part. We don't even really know each other's names. But still, we are in this together. This giveaway is a token of my gratitude. I look forward to announcing the winner this weekend. And I can't wait to reveal some of the other things that are also happening. I have a collaboration this weekend for a live stream with New Silver Stacker. I hope you guys all tune in for that. More information will be released about that tomorrow. He's going to release a short. I'm going to release a short. and Hopefully you guys all tune in. I'm extremely grateful for you all. I cannot wait to give away this gold piece. And until the next time, your friendly neighborhood from the hood, Rookie Stacker. Stack responsibly. Keep climbing.